let's share the screen. So today, share my screen again. Okay. All right. So we're going on to our page and we're actually going to move on to eight and nine, which is sports. So I know it says it's not till next week, but this is our next reading and today's reading class. So we're just going to skip on to this one and then we will sort it out later and we'll do a different reading next week. Okay. So that's under cricket reading Monday. Okay. So I, I clicked the teacher's copy. So I'm going to share that now on the screen. Okay, cool. So guys, can you all see my screen? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So today we are looking at cricket. Who knows about cricket? Has anyone heard of cricket before the word? I hear, but I don't know the rule. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know what? I don't really know the rules either. So it's okay. <laughs> We're all of this together. In Europe, not popular sport, uh, the cricket. In yeah. Europe. It, I think it's, India, uh, Pakistan, uh, more pop uh, popular this sport. Yeah, I think so. India is a really big cricket country, I think. Do, does anyone in your countries play cricket? Probably not. No. Well, what about um, in Japan, Mayuko? Do you guys have a cricket team? I don't think so. Maybe baseball <laughs> is more popular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marina, what about no. you guys? Thailand, Russia? No, I never hear about this. I think it's more popular in America, something like that. Yeah. Well, this <laughs> one actually, so this one looks like baseball in the picture, mm -hmm. but it's actually not baseball. It's um, so cricket is like, let's get some photos. All right. What is different between baseball and cricket? So what baseball. Sorry, Andrea. But what? baseball is, uh, you know, if you watch the American movies and the one that they always play, that's the baseball in the American movies. But cricket, you see, I'm not 100% on the rule, but cricket looks like this one. So can you guys see this photo? So see how it's different? So, so let's get a baseball. Baseball. This is cricket. This is and we cricket. can... We can uh, compare that. Because I think baseball, you play only with one ball. It's here you play with ball and ah, I don't know how to see. Understand? Yeah. Because this one is the baseball. So see how the bat, it's a bat. It's a different, a different thing that they're doing. And they have this type of ball. That's the American one. Different ball and different bat different rules yeah it's different game different bats different clothes just different it's a different sport mm -hmm. you know they have this big thing it's the one they always play in the u.s movies like this one mm -hmm. but then cricket let's look back at cricket so cricket has like this it has like these three things here that the ball has to go through. And it's it's kind of like a bat. Different for bat. Different, yeah. Uh -huh. It's just a different sport. Yeah, and that's the ball. Red. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So that's cricket. Okay. So we, we do have a cricket team in Ireland, but nobody really plays that much because you wear white, all white clothes. And in Ireland, you can't wear white. It's too wet, it's raining and it's dirty. <laughs> but in Australia, they actually, it's quite popular, I think. And India, someone said, who else? Debbie, what about your country? Do you guys play cricket? No, I don't think so. I, I think you just have a base baseball okay because baseball is popular in asia right 
Is that true? I heard that. Yeah, I think so. Well, what about in Japan? Do you guys play baseball? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we always think of America, but actually, like, Japan has it, other countries, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's see, what does this say? All right, uh, so let's get Debbie to read this highlighted phrase. Um, what does that say, Debbie? Baseball has the great advantage. Adv advantage. advantage over cricket of being sooner and Okay. So what are we saying there? What is better about baseball? Sooner? So sooner end it. What's that one? It's finished quicker. But base, cricket actually goes on for a long time. It can go up to three days, cricket. I, I don't know the rules 100%, so I don't know why, but I just know that it can keep going and going and going because there's no end. It's just when someone wins. There's no time. So baseball has a time. I'm not sure. Maybe it's an hour, maybe two hours, but cricket just can go on forever. Yeah, could be a week. So baseball is shorter than cricket. Yeah. You oh. know how um do you guys you guys know football? Yes. You know how a football game is maybe I the think 45. Uh, the yeah. 45. Between yeah. one break. So there's a finish. We play 45. Yeah. 45 break, 45. break, 45 and finish. And finish. In cricket, no finish. The finish is when someone wins. Uh -huh. Similar than tennis. Yeah, so it can go on one day, two days, three oh. days, you know? So <laughs> that's what they're saying here. So baseball has a finish. I'm not sure the time. Maybe it's one hour or two hours. But cricket, no finish. At some time, yes, but there's no time. Okay. All right, let's look at these questions. Um, so guys, we've already talked about this one. Okay, so how many players on a cricket team? Does anyone know? I actually don't know. Find out. Ah, 11 players. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to learn a lot today. 11 players. Hey, all. Yeah, <laughs> everyone, me included. Because, guys, a player is who? Who's a player? The person play the game. The person who plays the game. And you can use this word for any game. You can say football player, basketball player, baseball player, tennis player, anyone is a player. But today we're talking about cricket. All right, number three. Let's get Andrea to read number three. Do you know where cricket originated? Okay. India. I don't know. Actually, good guess. Because <laughs> India is very popular, but it's not India. Anyone else make a guess? So, sorry, who, who colonized India? Uh, uh, English, Britain. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, so that's why um, cricket is mostly in old colonies, things like Pakistan, India, Australia, because um, cricket is an English sport originally. So they, they took it to, to there. Um, because it's quite popular in England as well. Number four, uh, Marina, are you able to read number four? Yes, sure. Do you, have, uh, do you know where cricket is popular? Okay. Popular. What country did we say? Britain. Britain, <laughs> yeah. Anywhere else? America, America. 
India, I think, and Australia. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more India, Australia, Pakistan, England. Um, I think America is more baseball. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Uh, all right, and um, we we'll get Debbie to read number five. It's Craig, a good cricket. Uh, cricket. A good spectator. Spectator sport. Okay. All right. Uh, guys, there's a new word here spectator. Spe yeah, spectator is someone who watches a game. A person watching a game. So, has anyone um, watched a football game or a tennis match? Or basketball. Basketball. Yeah. So if you watch a sport, if you watch it, you're a spectator. Mm. A spectator. So you know the people who go to look at the at the at the international games. You know, like uh, ah, you know the Olympics. Have mm. you guys ever watched the Olympics? Yes. No. You're a spectator. <laughs> that's a spectator someone who watches a sport usually yeah guys can everyone say that word for me spectator 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 spectator, spectator. okay Mayuko can you say that word for me spectator Andrea spectator Marina spectator Debbie Spectator. Okay, and also we didn't practice this word. Uh, cricket. 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 Okay, Andrea, can you say it for me? Cricket. Mayuko. Cricket. Marina. Cricket. Debbie. Cricket. Awesome. Well done. Okay, cool. Uh, guys, what do you think? Well, you guys haven't seen it, so we can't really answer that one, but it's fine. We'll just move on. Okay. All right, let's look at quick facts. So quick facts are, so quick, what's quick, guys? Like fast, quick, quick, fast. I'm, pu I'm putting these definitions in the chat box, if you look in the chat box. So quick is like fast, small, small facts, like really fast. And a fact is a piece of information, piece of information. Um, so for example, for example, a fact about Australia, a fact about Australia. Australia has kangaroos. That's a fact, a piece of information. Australia has kangaroos. Can anyone give me another fact about Australia? Australia has a kangaroo. <laughs> yes, Australia has kangaroos, anything else? Australia has koala. <laughs> Australia has koalas. That's another fact. Awesome. Anything else? Australia. Australia was indigenous. Yes, it was ind indigenous. Yes. Awesome. Uh, Mayuko, can you give me a fact about Japan? Japan? Any, any fact, just one piece of information. Uh, Japanese people like eating sushi. Okay. Awesome. Yes. So they like eating sushi. Um, Andrea, a fact about Hungary. <laughs> Hungary. <laughs> Hungary, I live in Hungary. Uh, do you, are you from Hong, or do you, Hungary you're not people Hungary? live in Hungary. What, where, sorry? Uh, okay, Budapest uh, is capital city uh, okay. in Hungary. Okay, awesome. Marina, a fact about anywhere in Thailand, Russia? Um, um... Uh, in Thailand, uh, Thailand doesn't have any snow. Okay, awesome. 
Debbie, a fact about, where are you from, Debbie, again? Taiwan. Taiwan, awesome. A fact about Taiwan. Um, uh, can, can I eat some for Australia? <laughs> uh, oh, so for example, how big is Taiwan? What's the size? Uh, like, is it big or small? Small. Okay. So, a fa can you put that in a sentence? Taiwan? Uh, affect affect you, you Taiwan. Could just, you could just start with Taiwan, something small. Oh, Taiwan, Taiwan has. Is? Taiwan is. is small island. Small. Awesome. Taiwan is a small <laughs> island. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So let's go back to cricket. So then quick facts. So it's just fast information. Okay, so the sport is cricket. Um, originated. Guys, what did we say originated is? We had this word already. For England. It was for where, where uh, the played uh, firstly. Yes, yes, where it was played firstly, yeah. Okay, um, and that was, which country did we say? <laughs> Britain. Yeah, Britain, or there's a couple of names that we refer to the same country. So you could say Britain or UK or England as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Any of them are okay for this answer. All right, equipment. Bat and ball. Yes, yeah, so you need a bat, you need a ball, a special ball. Guys, what uh, what does equipment mean? What do we mean when we say equipment? I think that, that uh, we, we use when play this sport. Exactly, exactly. So what do we need? And not only for sport, but that's a good answer. Yes, but yes. it's for anything. It could be your job, your school. So for you guys, your equipment for the class is your computer. Because you need to use Zoom, right? So what you need for job, sport, um, any, let's say any job. So for example, I'm a teacher. So I'm teaching online, so I need a computer. Okay. And I use a pen sometimes. I also have paper, this equipment, okay. Uh, team, the team's key players. All right, well, we don't know that one. That's quite technical. Let's go on to the next one. Nickname. Guys, have you heard of this word before, nickname? Yes. Yes, the short given name. Yeah, it's, it's not your original name. It's not your name on your passport, but a nickname is like a short name that sometimes people call you. Sometimes some people have a, a name, a short name that their friends call them or maybe their parents call them. So for example, do you guys know the word Jessica? Yeah. The, the name Jessica, yeah. So sometimes you say nickname would be Jess. That's it. That's a nickname. Jess. Jess, because it's the short name, but on the, your passport, it's Jessica, but your nickname is Jess. Or for example, um, Jonathan. Do you guys know the name Jonathan? Yes. Yeah. And sometimes if you're called Jonathan on your passport, the nickname could be John or something short. And sometimes they're really weird nicknames, so they're nothing. <laughs> it's just, just some idea, you know? So my brother um, is called Sean. My brother is called, his first name is Sean. And then also my name, our name is called Rigney, right? So that's my brother. But then his nickname is called Riggers, like that. So they make a new name. So sometimes it's like that, but that's a nickname. But I don't call him that, but you know, his friends do. Um, okay, do you any of you guys have nicknames? Yeah. 
No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a nickname either. But sometimes people like nicknames, especially in Australia, they like nicknames here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's called the gentleman's game. Gentleman's game. Yeah. So guys, a game is like um, a game can be a game for kids, for children, or a game can also mean um, a team sport. So sometimes like football, people say game or sport. Okay. But it can also be, so let's put that one in the chat, game. So it can be one for a sport, or it can be two, a children's game. A ch oh, sorry, I miss <laughs> a children's game. So, you know, when you are a child and you, what do you do when you're a child? You like, maybe you have dolls or you have um, like games in your mind, you have little blocks or you play with the other kids. That's called a game as well. But we can also say a sport is a game. So like a football game, a cricket game, a baseball game. So that's also a game. Okay, so it's a bug. So it just means a gentleman's game. So that's a really old word um, for saying basically rich people used to play this game way back 200 years ago when they still had the lords and the kings and the ladies. So that's where that comes from. So it means basically it used to be a rich person sport. All right. Okay, let's move on to the vocabulary. All right, so we have some good words here. We're gonna learn a lot today. Let's look at the first word. So the first word is Commonwealth. Commonwealth. So you guys might have heard this before to refer to something. Has anyone heard of this word before? Yeah, my, my bank account is Commonwealth. Yes, <laughs> yeah. the bank is called Commonwealth Bank. And what else is called Commonwealth? That's really, people say a lot. There's another word. Many, many countries together can come on that, not? Yeah, yeah. So Australia is called. Or, or, uh, was English person? I think it's common word. Exactly, yeah. So basically, Commonwealth here, I will give you the example matches to G. G. So it's a former members of the British Empire. Has anyone heard of the British Empire before? So basically, when in the 1800s, England was very greedy and it took over a lot of countries, India, Australia, um, America, America, Ireland as well, um, many countries, a lot of African countries. And um, when they became, when they finished the empire, it was over, they became called Commonwealth. That was the name. So you guys might know the word Republic. Has anyone heard of the word Republic before? Yes. Yeah? So yeah. some of you got, you, some of your countries might be called the Republic of. So yeah. for example, Ireland is called the Republic of Ireland. What about Hungary, Andrea? I think Republic. Republic. I I, I <laughs> when I read the the Austria is monarch. I I surprised surprised because I think it's Republic, but no first person in Australia, the, the queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So exactly. So like Andrea said, in Australia, Australia is not a republic. It is independent, but it's called the Commonwealth of Australia. 
And the reason why it's called the Commonwealth of Australia is because the English Queen is the head of state, the head of state. So there's no president. So for example, in Ireland, there's a president. In the USA, there is a president. Uh, what about your countries? Do your countries have presidents? Mayuko, how about, how about Japan? Uh, we have the prime minister. And do you have a king or a president? Uh, yeah, we have the kind of the king, but it's not like a United Kingdom. Okay, yeah. so in that case, Japan is probably not a republic because there's a king. Yeah. Yeah. We, we are not a republic country. Yeah. And Marina, what about uh, Russia? In Russia, we have president. Okay. We're not republic. We commonwealth, That's right? Um, Russia would be, a, if there is a president, it is a republic. Yes. Ah, republic. So uh, if in Thailand they have a king. Then it, it's only commonwealth if the English used to mm -hmm. be there. So for example, Australia is a commonwealth, Canada is a commonwealth, um, India, Pakistan, Singapore, I think is a commonwealth. Yeah, so it depends on who is the leader of the country. So a republic, means that there is a president. Uh, and then kingdom is means there's a king or a queen and commonwealth means that um, the British used to colonize. Oh no, we'll say the British queen is the head. So it means that the British Queen is ahead. So technically Australia is independent, but they don't have a president. They say the Queen is the head of state of England, the Queen of England. And it's the same with Canada and India and a couple of other countries. That's a, that means Commonwealth. Okay, so if you guys ever get an Australian passport, it will say the Commonwealth of Australia. It won't say the Republic of Australia. So that's where you will see it. Okay, cool. So guys, we said one matches two. G, one matches G, G, okay. And guys, I'm also gonna ask everyone to turn on your cameras for me so I can see all your beautiful faces. Awesome. There we are. Awesome, oh, there we are. If you guys are driving and you can't, then it's okay, I see Leda there, she's in the car, that's all right. But if you can, please do, yeah. Okay, cool, so one matches to okay. G, let's put that in the chat. I just 10 minutes and I think I arrive at home, okay? That's okay, thank you for joining anyway, Leda. I'm listening, okay? That's all right. Thank you. Okay, all right, guys, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes, have a go at trying to match the rest of them. If you don't get it, it's fine. We will discuss it later in a couple of minutes.
How are we going, guys? Still going? Mm -hmm. all right. That's all right. Another couple of minutes. Because many bird bath don't know the, the rule. That's okay. These ones are all new, you know, because it's a new sport, but that's all right. Just try your best. And if not, we'll discuss them together. <laughs> Hey, Dizzy. Hello, Mr. Corner. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I have to pick up my son from school and give him something to eat. That's okay. That's fine. No worries. We're just working on the vocabulary review that's on the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's cricket. We're talking about cricket today. It's oh, a new okay. sport for everyone, so don't worry too much. <laughs> okay, thank We're you. all learning something, including me.
How are we doing, guys? We ready? All right, um, let's just take a look at these then. Right, so number two, we have spectator. Okay, so did anyone get this one? Oh, we already talked about this one. So I'm gonna start calling out names. Debbie, I see you on my screen. Number two, what one does that match to? Number two, it's be a person who watches. Yes, a person who watches, number two. Okay, awesome. Um, number three, so did anyone get this one? Yes, E. Awesome. Okay, so let's write that one down. Three is equal to E. Okay, so maybe I should start calling out names and just see. Okay, number four. Uh, Marina, did you get number four? Uh, yes, it's uh, letters D. It's D. a long rounded shape like an egg. Right, so guys, you guys might know oval because oval is not only a place, it's what, it's what you call the cricket pitch, but oval is actually the shape. So you know the egg shape? So four is D. So it's uh, oval. That's what it's called, an oval. In right. Russian, oval. Oh, well, ah, the same. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay, number five is pitch. So let's ask Mayuko, what did you get number, for number five? Uh, I haven't found it, but I think A. Uh, yes, and can you read out num let number A, letter A? Uh, rec rectangular. Rectangular area where the butter stands and runs. Okay, guys, that one is quite specific, but actually a pitch is for any game, any sport, which has grass or green. So you know football? Yes. So you know the green place that they may play the football? That's called a pitch, a pitch. So let's get a photo of that one. Uh, football pitch. Get that one, a football pitch. Oh. Ah, so this is a football pitch. You see this thing, guys, in the middle? This green thing? It's yeah. called a pitch. A pitch. So anything which is like this, but for a sport, is called the pitch. So you have a cricket pitch, a football pitch. Um, what other sports have pitches? Can anyone think of any? Anything. Any sport with tennis. grass, anyway. Tennis. Sorry. Tennis. Ah, golf, they say cost for tennis. Yeah, it's, be it's because it's not grass, so it looks green, but it's not grass. So you need grass for a pitch. A golf one? R uh, a golf is not a uh, pitch, but a golf is um. Uh, what's a golf called? Let's let's Google usually helps us out. A golf? No. Ah, no, none of these places. A uh, golf, um, place where you play golf. Oh, I think it's called a field, actually. Yeah, it's called a field. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a pitch. Uh, a rugby pitch, though. Rugby pitch because it's a rectangle, the pitch. That's why. So it has to be the shape of the football. Right. Let's go back to this one. Okay, number six. Uh, let's go to T N. I think H. Six H. And can you read H for us? H is 
a set of three stumps topped with a cross piece. Okay, yes. So the wicket is So in cricket, you have something called like this. Oh, we don't need to actually go into it. And that's the wicket, this thing. All right. Okay, uh, next one. Let's go to Carol. Uh, number seven, I think is J. Mm -hmm. All right, can you read that one for us? Uh, the cross piece that goes on top of the stumps in a wicket. Right. Yes. Okay. So that would be. Oh, these are quite technical terms, aren't they? That would be this thing on top. It just goes on top. Okay, cool. All right. Next one. Number eight, um, Andrea. You do, I think, as player on the defensive team that tries to get the batters out. Uh, yes, F, yes, eight, F. Okay, nine. All right, let's go to Leda. Leda is Leda driving, dizzy. Can you do nine for us? Is bowler? A bowler, bowler. yeah. No idea, sorry. It's all right, can anyone help dizzy What does bowler mean? I think I, first one who pitched, pitched the ball in a game of cricket. Yes. So the bowler is the person who throws the ball in cricket. So ah, let's see okay. if we can get a picture of a bowler. You might know bowler from bowling. Has anyone ever been bowling? Yes. Yes. In the bowling alley? It's the same word. So in cricket, oh, bowl. you have... Yeah. Who gets the ball or who does he's, the he's, throwing? He's throwing it. He's like, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. He throws the ball, right. And it's the same when you go bowling. You're a, you're a bowler. So that action is a bowler, the person. Um, okay, 10 is Tian. Let's go back to Tian. I think we've run out of people, so. Tian is L. Uh, L. The, the area where a uh, field of play ends. Awesome, L. Yeah, so guys, a boundary line basically is the line between, um, so in cricket or in a sport, it would be the line that you have to stay inside for the game. But it can be for anything. Basically, a boundary line is the line between two things. It can be for maybe a house. You know how there's different houses and every house has a garden? On the outside, boundary line between yeah, the boundary line. This is my garden and that's your garden. And this is the mm -hmm. line. That's the boundary line. Or between states, you know, New South Wales and Victoria, you have a boundary line. We usually call it a border, but it's basically a boundary line between the states. If it's a country, we say border, but it's boundary line. So for sport, it's it's here. Hey, Mohammed, how are you? We're just hello, first... hello, hello, teacher. Hi, everyone. Uh, sorry, I'm late. That's all right. We're just working on um, B. So if you look back, we have the answers already for most of them. If you have access to the chat box in the class. Okay, so eleven, uh, Marina. Uh -huh. It's empire. It's like the letter C, uh, an official who makes final decision related to scoring uh, and rules. 
yes. So the umpire is basically the person who um, helps the referee. So if a, if if there's a like a, a ball goes outside, the umpire says, "Oh, that's this team, not that team." It's the person on the side. You have them in football as well and basketball and stuff. They're like the referee's helper. And the last one, 12. Let's go to Mayuko. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, a person you are competing against. Okay. Um, yes. So basically, guys, opponent, if you do any type of competition at all, you can use it for um, boxing, for football, the person you are competing against, the other person, you know? Okay, cool. All right, um, so let's do some vocabulary. So repeat after me, number one, Commonwealth. 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 Number two, spectator. 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 Outscore. 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 Oval. 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 Pitch. 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 Wicket. 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 Bail. 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 Fielder. 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 Bowler. 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 Boundary line. Boundary line. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. 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 Opponent. 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 Okay, so let's go through some of them individually. So, Mayuko. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Bowler. Bowler. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Okay. Uh, Marina. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oh. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Well. Bail. 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 Fielder. Fielder. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Uh, Dizzy. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Bowler. Bowler. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Um, right. Carol. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Bowler. Bowler. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Tian. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Bowler. Bowler. Boundary line. 
boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Mohammed. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Boulder. Bowler. 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 Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Debbie. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscored. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Bowler. Bowler. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Op opponent. Andrea. Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Bowler. Bowler. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Leda, can you talk? Or yes. Okay. Commonwealth. One second, because okay. Commonwealth. Spectator. Spectator. A spectator. Spectator. Outscore. Outscore. Oval. Oval. Pitch. Pitch. Wicket. Wicket. Bail. Bail. Fielder. Fielder. Bowler. Bowler. Boundary line. Boundary line. Umpire. Umpire. Opponent. Opponent. Okay. I think that's everyone, right? I didn't miss anyone. That's so. All right. Let's go on to our next part. Cool. Now we're going to move on to the reading. And just before I do that, I'm just going to make sure. Oh, no, I already have it. It's fine. Because I was going to lose you guys turning low on battery. But I have it here. Oh, now we're good. All right. Um, cool. So let's, let's go to our reading. Um, so you guys have access to this under reading. So I'm going to ask Mayuko to start because she's on my screen. Yeah. But... What I would like you to do, everyone's going to read one sentence. We're going to talk about the vocabulary. And then whoever has just read is going to choose the next person. So if you don't know any names, no problem. Just look at the participants list and choose someone you think. And try to choose someone who hasn't read already. Um, but if they have, I will tell you. And you just choose another person. Okay. So Mayuko is the first person. Yeah. Cricket is a team sport that used a bat and ball. Um, okay, you can actually do another. Yeah, that one's a short one. Just keep yeah. next sentence as well. It became popular in Britain as early as the 13th century and gradually uh, spread to the Commonwealth countries, including Australia, India, and South Africa. Right. So, guys, we said a bat was. The thing that you, what do you do with a bat? You hit, hit something, hit right? The ball, yeah. Like baseball, baseball bat, cricket bat. And we have the ball. Okay. So Britain is where? Where's Britain? Or what's another word you can say for Britain? UK. UK. What's the capital of Britain? London. 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 Yeah. Okay. And it spread. So guys, spread means that it's a verb that the information just goes out. Whoa. So you know what you do when you're in, how, do you guys eat bread, eat toast in the morning? Yes. What do you do? You spread butter. Mm. 
So you start with a small piece, you get a knife and you spread it. So you can do that with information as well. So spread means that it started in England and then it went out. Let's spread. Okay. Um, so a couple of countries. And we say Commonwealth countries, guys. Which kind of, what's, in, what's important about a Commonwealth country? Why is it called Commonwealth? Australia. <laughs> Australia. And why is Australia Commonwealth? Um, it was first based on in the, uh, in the no, no president, first person that we in. Yes. So there's no president. The head of state is the Queen of England. That's why it's Commonwealth. Okay. All right, Mayuko, who's next? Uh, Debbie. <laughs> Today, professional cricket is very competitive. competitive. And it is one of most popular spectators to sport in the world. Okay, competitive. So guys, a competitive okay. is the adjective for competition. So it means that there is a lot of competition, a lot of people play it, and it's um, you need to be really good. That's what competitive means. Okay. So like football is competitive because it's very difficult to get to the top or the Olympics is competitive because it's very hard to get into. That's what competitive is. And a spectator is a person who? Watch the sport. Who watches, who watches the game. Yeah, so lots of people watch it. All right, who's next, Debbie? Um, Tien. <laughs> <laughs> like a basketball, the object of quick Cricket is to outscore the other team in runs. Unlike baseball, cricket is played on an oval, oval field with a rectangular, 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 rectangular. rectangular pitch in the middle. Okay. Um, okay, so we have a couple of shapes. So oval is like what? What shape is oval? Like an egg. Like an egg. So egg shape is oval. And rectangular is like, a, like what sport? Like football. So it's short on one side, long on the other. So like sometimes boxes are rectangular. Okay, and the pitch, what did we say the pitch is? Which is where the, they play the green thing. Yeah, it's the green place oh, where yeah. they play, like football. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a pitch. Okay, cool. All right, uh, so who's next? Did, did Debbie read? So, Debbie? Debbie read. So you need to choose the next person, Debbie. Okay. Uh, is me? It's me, sorry. I need you. Oh, okay. Equip equipment includes a cricket ball, a cricket bat, and two wickets. While a basket, a baseball bat is thin and rounded, a cricket ball bat is flat and wide. Okay. Okay. Um, so we have the ball, we have the bat, and the two wickets are what do we say the wickets are? Like the three things in the middle. Yeah. So we're just comparing baseball and cricket. So the baseball is like, um, let's get a picture. Baseball bat versus cricket. Let's move. Cricket bat. Let's see if we can get a picture. All right. This one is a cricket bat. This one is a baseball bat. That's different. Cool. 
All right, who's next? Leda? Each wicket is made up of three stumps with a bell on top. The, wicks, the wickets are placed to, at opposite end, ends of the pitch like bases. Bases. Mm -hmm. Bases. Okay, awesome. So a wicket is... So a wicket is basically this thing here, these things. So they have them, two of them, and that's how you get the score. And the ball should to be through the wicket, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, who's next? Next, next person. Sorry, who was reading? Was it Tian? Leda. It was Leda. Ah, uh, Mohamed. Yep. There are eleven players on each cricket team. The teams take turns uh, being uh, fielders and batters. The bat the batsman score the runs, and the fielders try. Uh, to reduce the runs and get uh, their opponent out. Okay. Right. Uh, so, guys, basically, the fielder is the person who is on the pitch, and the batter is the person who does the batting. The batting, yeah. Okay. The fielders who is through the ball, yeah? Uh, the fielders are the people who try and catch the ball. And the batter is the person who's outside. So basically, the batter ah, okay, is like okay, the goal okay, okay. in football. Yeah, yeah. The fields are the people who run around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next person. Run this one, I think. Next uh, person. Andrea? I like uh, in baseball, the fielders are very uh, handy. The person who pitched uh, the ball. Is called the bowler. In cricket, a pitch can, uh, I don't know, bounce, bounce on the ground before it reaches the batter. Uh, I don't understand anything. That's all right. Um, okay, so it means barehanded means like normal hands, no gloves. Do you know how some people they wear gloves? Yes. But in cricket, there's no no gloves, no gloves. Okay, and the person who pitches, so pitch here means to throw. So, you know, you have a ball and you throw it. That's called a bowler. Mm -hmm. Bowler. What is bones? Can bones? Can pitch can bones? So, what pitches is, means here to throw, throw the ball. This action. Pitches can bounce on the ground. What is can bounce? What is uh, what is can bounce? A pitch can I don't know bounce. Which which sentence is that uh, one? La last uh, last. Oh, I don't have we done that one? Oh yes, we did. Um, so bounce is like you know in basketball. What do you do with the ball? You bounce. That's called bounce. So up and down, up and down. Oh. So okay. so it means that the ball can bounce. You know, when you throw a ball, a tennis ball, what happens? It goes up and down, right? Oh. So that means that the Did ball can bounce. Jumping. <laughs> yeah, so it's a small ball, so I throw it, but it can go ground up, down, up, down, like a tennis ball. And then I can catch it after, it's okay. Okay. So bouncing, it's like a basketball, it means that the ball is like a basketball. Okay, uh, next person. Arena. The beginners of a cricket game is called the first 
uh, innings to players on the patent sun stand in front of the wicket with their bats. The bowler on the field and team pitched the ball. And uh, when one uh, when one batter hits the ball, both batters run to the opposite side of the pitch to score one run together. Batters can run back and uh, force more than once if the uh, if the ball reaches or goes over the boundary line. The fielders try to get the batsman out. Okay. Ah, good woman. You read the whole thing. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so guys, basically at first innings, you don't really have to worry about this. It just means that that's the beginning of the game. It's just a technical name for the start of the game. But don't worry about learning that one. You probably never use it. Um, okay, so basically, this is going through how you, how you play the game. So you have two players on... You have two players who stand in front of the wicket, in front of, let's go back to the wicket. So, two people stand in front of this one, stand in front of that one, and then, let's just say playing cricket. Maybe we can find a picture. Ah, so here we go. It's like you get the ball of the game, two people stand there, the other one is shooting the ball there after that and after. Yeah, it's okay. what cricket goes on forever. Yeah. That's why, because you have one guy here or girl as well, obviously. Yeah. And you have another person here and they're trying to hit the ball through. And that's that's what we're doing, so. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, who's next? Marina? Uh, next, um, I don't remember who is Madrid. Um, Mayuka? I, yeah. Mayuka, have you yeah. read? Yeah. Uh, to Amparius. Um, Make the final decision about when the batman is out. If the ball hit the wicket, the batman is out and the new batman join the join the other batter. Uh, batman is also out or caught if a fielder um, hits the ball that uh, batman hit. Okay. All right. Um, cool. All right. So basically, being out means that you get off. You can't play anymore. Okay, out. And the two people on the side decide who's out. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, who's next, Mayuko? Didi. Yep. If a fielder eats the wicket with a ball before the runner reaches it, the batter has been run out. Finally, if a batsman stands too far forward and misses the ball, the wicket keeper, like a catcher in baseball, can jump the, bat, um, the batsman by hitting the wicket before the batsman catches it. Okay. Uh, so these are just terms then to, you know, to explain what's out and what's not. So if, if you hit the ball first, then you are out. Um, if you're standing too close and you miss the ball, um, you can catch it and then you score. You, the other guy or girl goes out. Um, okay, so Dizzy, next person. Let's see the next person. Let's read. Um, when 10 players are out on the 
batting side. This is the the end of the first inning. Meeting. In the second meeting, the teams change rules and the new bat batters try to beat their op op opponent. Score mm -hmm. from the first innings. The length of the game depends on the type of cricket be being played. Cricket. Okay. Uh, ma matches can last anywhere from six hours to five days. Wow. Let's hear that. Five days of the one game. Long, huh? Okay. Okay, next one. Um, all right. So, guys, what we have to do here is do true and false. Okay. So, let's do number one as an example. Uh, Tian, can you read number one? Okay. Uh, basketball and the cricket have some sim similarities. Similarities, yes. Of similarities. So there are some things which are the same between baseball and cricket. True or false? I'm thinking True. So. True. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, because some things are true. Awesome. Guys, can you do two to six? Two to six. Sorry, Mr. Connor. I want to find this page in the computer. Can you tell me in which module is? Oh, uh, you can't actually have this. This one is not in located in your screen. However, I will send it to you guys uh, because I downloaded it. So just give me a second because actually it is quite helpful for you to have it. I just sent it in the chat box. Okay, so I'll just give you another couple of minutes, guys.
Are we doing, guys? We finished? Yep. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's get to Muhammad. Number two. Can you read out the sentence and say if it's true or false? Uh, number two, cricket originated in India. It's false because uh, it, uh, the cricket originated in uh, UK. In Excellent. Grand, Grand Britain. Yes. So two is false. Okay, two is false. All right. Um, Leda, can you do number three? So read it out and then say true or false. Number two. Yeah. Number three. Three. I'm with phone and okay now. In, in cricket, two bowlers work together at the same time to score runs. Runs, yeah. Yeah, runs. I think it's, it's true. So this one is actually, it's, it's false, but this is quite technical. So um, it's two batters. So the batter is the person who throws, who hits and the ball. Bowlers. And the okay. bowler is the person who throws the ball. So in this case, it's the batter. I want to read again the text, but I, I don't find in the chat. Um, and I remember too, but okay, yes, it too balls. That's okay. Uh, well, you guys have access to the text. You just don't have access to this, but I'm going to put it into the chat again. So you have the whole thing. Number number three is uh, false. True. Oh, number false. So three two is two false. Two butters. Ah, uh, three. False. false. Number one is true. Number two is false, and number three is false. False, false. Okay, number five. Um, Tian, can you read it out and say true or false? Number four. Number four. Number, number four. Oh, God. I've been confusing myself. We didn't even do that one. Okay, thank you. Uh, a batter scores extra points if he hits the ball past the ball, ball the, the boundary line oh, boundary line sorry uh two <laughs> okay so four is true yes or true mm -hmm. okay uh five let's go to andrea um, wicket keeper in, in cricket makes a similar salary to uh, catches in baseball i uh, i think wow. not given <laughs> no not men mention not mention excellent so guys this is a skill that you guys will need to start developing. And actually, I didn't even explain this, so that's very good, Andrea. So guys, when you go to the IELTS or PTE, which you probably will have to do if you either want to A, study in un at university in Australia, or B, a lot of the visas as well require either IELTS or PTE, you will get this kind of question. They will give you a reading, and then they will say true, false or not in the text. And in this case, it does not say how much money they get. So we don't know, maybe it's true, maybe it's false, but it doesn't say it. So the answer is actually, like Andrea said, and M. So it means not mentioned or not given. So we don't know, okay? 
So we don't know because they don't say it. There's no sentence to say yes or no. So when you go on to IELTS study with the reading, you will get this question a lot. So it's something you need to start developing as well. So it's good that we're starting to look at it now. Okay, um, number six. Um, Carol? Uh, number Carol? six is true. Okay, true. Can you read it out for us? And then, and then yeah, so you already said true. But... Se second innings starts after 10 petals are out. Right, uh, cool. So that one is true. Okay, that's fine. All right, uh, guys, same again. Um, we're going to do the vocabulary. So we're looking for some vocabulary that goes into these sentences. So for example, number one, we something our opponents five to seven. It was an easy game. What do you think? We're looking for some vocabulary. Either because here. Or because it uh, outscored. Outscored. Excellent. Outscored. So it means that we won, basically. The, the answer is outscored. So we got more, more points. All right. So guys, can you do two, three, four, and five? Yeah. Next one. <laughs>
How are we doing, guys? I'm not finished yet. No idea. That's okay. Another couple of minutes. All right. How are we going, guys? I'm done, but not sure. <laughs> Just try. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. Is everyone else still working or? All done. All done? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go to number two. Mohammed, can you do number two for us? Yeah, in cricket. The batters run between two wickets to score points. Oh, yes. bowlers. Bowlers. No bowlers. Uh, wickets is number two. 
fix that three things in the in the on the ground. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So there are the three things in the ground. It's good too. Yeah. So number three. Um, Tian, can you read number three? Okay. Uh, builders uh, catch the ball without gloves in the game of cricket. Okay, very good. Builders. Okay. Um, that's fine. All right. Uh, Dizzy, number four. That's number four. An umpire decide whether or not a not a batsman is out. Okay. Okay. Because the umpire, who's the umpire? The person who says you're out on the side. He's the he or she is the person who stands beside the pitch and watches and says, oh, you made a mistake, you're out, it's the umpire. Okay, number two, number five, rather, um, Debbie. Uh, hey, Debbie, you're, you're on mute still. <gasps> In cricket, the yeah, I write the two answer. I'm not sure. Number five, I write the common words in the oval. It's a uh, so good guesses, but we're talking about the green area where you play the game. So, what's that called? Can anyone help Debbie out? Pitch. The pitch. pitch. Yeah. Pitch. The pitch is the green area where you play the game. Pitch. Um, all right, guys, last couple of minutes. We'll do a couple of discussion questions. Um, actually, does anyone have IELTS next, next class? Yes. Yes. Because yes. uh, if you guys have IELTS, we probably want a bit of a break for five minutes. Okay. Um, guys, I'll let you go in that case because I know a lot of people are here are doing IELTS class. Um, so you guys will probably want a five minute break. Okay. Um, guys, does anyone have any questions of what we've done today before I let you go? Awesome. Perfect. Okay, um, so in that case, guys, have a great evening. Enjoy your next class or whatever you're doing if you're not studying. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, okay. thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.